This episode of The Totally Rad Show is brought to you by the fine people at Netflix. Coming up, we finally return to mash up some media in our game called Media Mashup. Welcome to another edition of Media Mashup. This, of course, is the game where you take two titles that share a common word or sound, <laughs> smash them together, describe them as one, and try to get your friends to guess. So, yes. for example, if I were to say it's a movie about uh, two friends that conspire to kill one of their mother because they're hooked on heroin, you, of course, would say, throw mama from the train spotting. Nice. All right, so let's start. <laughs> Glad that was not in competition. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my first one is. Oh! I like to wager a guess. I get to choose now. No, I'm just I get to listen to it. Yeah. Hit the bell. Don't mess with the bell unless, okay, you're, ready. unless, you're, unless you're really yeah. ready. The bell is sacred. Yeah, angels die. Okay. My first one. Don't kill me. Why is there a giant? There's a giant here we go. bug in here. It's all right. Don't worry. It's, it's compact. It's out. giant. It's compact. Don't. It's actually pretty much fly sized. <laughs> don't send it to me. Go. Wait, That's on Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing, I was listening, and I was like, the fly. Right, what is it? What is it? <laughs> All right, Lord of the Flies. <clears throat> uh, okay, there is earth, air, fire, and water, but there's also this guy who will trick you into believing the impossible. Are you using the full title for the first one? Full length title, or? Oh, when, I forgot there was a movie and a TV show. Well, I don't think the same name. I think I am, unless I'm really wrong about something. I think I might have the first one. Really? Is it Captain Planet and the Planeteers? Yes. yes. So you, is it Captain Planet or Planeteers? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Tricks you into believing the what's impossible. Your, what's your pick on firsties? This whole this this whole title could be one movie. The name of this guy. The, the whole title could be the name of the guy. guy. Yeah. Oh, now I don't. Casper. One. I mean, that that shouldn't affect you either way. And this guy who tricks you into believing the impossible. So, earth, air, and fire, and water. Yes. Are elements. Yes. There's also this guy. Uh, the sixth sense. He's, he's another element. Mike, you have it? I have the first one now. Mike's got and it. Man, it is, it is very cool. I don't know how to say it. Uh, but awesome. now I don't know how the second thing is a guy who tricks you into believing the impossible. There's also this guy. Oh. Dang it. Okay, I think I have it, and it's got a lot. Okay. Is it the fifth elementalist? Yes! Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff wrong with that. What? What's wrong? The mentalist. I don't, I'm okay, I don't care about those. Oh, you don't? You don't care about those? Okay. No. I, I did. But mentalist, I I, you could have been a little bit more nicer with that. The mentalist <laughs> Like, he, he, he reads doesn't your actually th trick he, you in it. Well, he, he can hypnotize uh, you at times. He sure like, you know, he, uh, he, he deducts. Deduces he deduces more than he whatever, tricks people. You know? I would have gotten it anyway. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After the plane is hijacked by criminals, he will travel to Africa to find a basketball star. Con air up there. Yes. <laughs> Everybody prepared? Prepared. When a group of young teens are attacked at a lake, one Persian and a bunch of Vikings come to their aid. Oh. Friday the 13th Warrior. Friday the 13th Warrior. On the board. Because we hadn't done this in a while, I clearly thought we should raise the ante. <laughs> so from now on, Wonderful. all of mine are threesies. Okay. That's okay as long as <laughs> mine goes ugh. Uh. <laughs> Don't say ugh, uh, it's fun. Go for it. Jesus, ugh, uh, you people. All right, I'll start with an easy, easy erase one. So the first one was the this easiest. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the Cowboys. Easy one. All right, here we go. Cowboys. Wait, what? <laughs> That's three? <laughs> Cowboys. Oh, oh boy, you guys might not—you guys might not like me for any of these, but whatever. Oh, okay. 
We, we, we already don't like you. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've got nowhere to go but down. Yeah. Think. Up. Uh, okay. A Jewish man struggling with a breakup is given the opportunity to have an affair by his wife, who takes down some terrorists while riding on Flight 163. I know one and three, don't know two. Uh, Annie Hall, passenger 57. Yeah! Oh, didn't be the last one. See? What's up? Flight 153, <laughs> always bet on black. Always <laughs> bet on black. Wow. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. From opposite sides of the track, these two lovers come together to dance and fire employees effortlessly. And what? And fire employees <laughs> effortlessly. Is it just, just two? Start again? Just Wait. two. All of mine, just two. Start again? From opposite sides of the track, these two lovers come together to dance and fire employees effortlessly. The, um... Pink slips? One or... of these movies mm -hmm. won an Academy Award. Not the first one. <laughs> Recently, in fact. <sighs> About firing people easy won an Academy Award. What movie was about uh, firing people I think easily? I got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Step up in the air. Yes. Amazing. I thought it was foot loose. Yeah. Sides of the track. Step up in the air. A cynical, immature young man who is taught to act like a grown up by a little boy who turns out to be a girl. Uh, wait. No, uh, Jeff doesn't have to wait. About a boy's life? No. What? Is any of that? What? So what's the? That's not freaking Hillary Swank movie. Isn't that Boy's Life? Oh, boy, uh, boy, boy cry, cry, uh, boy. What is that? Boy who cried or some shit. <laughs> boys don't cry. Boys don't cry. About a boys don't cry. Are you gonna ring the bell? About a boys don't cry. About a boys don't cry. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sitting here like an asshole. All right. Anyone in the country can call in and vote to see which underachiever should be sent to pick up a spoiled playboy who is doing a variety of human accomplishments that seem too amazing to be true. I heard okay, a lot back. of words. Yeah. Yeah. Slow. Anyone in the country can call in and vote okay. to see which young underachiever should be sent to pick up a spoiled playboy who is doing a variety of human accomplishments that seem too amazing to be true. Anyone in the country can- Is it a yeah. TV show at the beginning? Yes. yes. Oh. A... oh! Well. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it does say TV show. Anyone in the country okay, can Okay, so I think vote. I got that one. Yeah, I think I got that one also. Correct. It's but... not the first one that you would think of. Okay, oh, then, I, then I have, oh, okay, that's fine. Because well, what movie could be start anything. with that? No, none, but there's another one where they do. Well, there's like 50, if you if you take the, the one out, that's true. there's like 50 Anyone texted Anyone in the country, the country, Country. Can yes. Call in and vote. Okay. Who is doing a variety of human accomplishments that seem too amazing to be true? America's Got Talented, Mr. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yes. Wow. Boo! Yeah. Impressive. Thank you. Nicely Thank done. Thank you, sir. Nicely done. Well, it wasn't all yes. that hard. It took. Well. <laughs> they will hunt homeless men down for sport, but no one will fight back until a brother has sex with his sister. Well, that sounds intriguing. <laughs> what, uh, what movie is this? I don't this? want to watch that at all. I think I've seen this movie. Right. What was it? Hunt, I beg to hunt differ. down homeless people? They will hunt homeless men down for sport, but no one will fight back until a brother has sex with his sister. I don't want to watch that. Most dangerous Game of Thrones? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, that works. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but I'll be, I mean, I'll give that to you because it was really surviving the game and that the stickler would be homeless men. Ah. Uh, um, but surviving the I game. I would never have gotten that. I've never heard of surviving uh, so the like, game. Also, like, survive, it's so, um, you might, Gary Busey and uh, Ice-T. Not, on, not the, on my Gary Busey Ice-T movies. You would, I think you, if you saw the commercial, you'd be like, oh yeah, from the 80s. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sur but I like surviving the game, game of thrones. Surviving the Game of Thrones is good. Yeah. A superhero is wrongfully accused of horrible things, so he pulls an unsuspecting woman into his crazy life, and then they fall in love. Wrongfully accused of doing horrible things. Mm -hmm. When does the first one end? When 
Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it? Does the second one end? Does the second one begin with and then they fall in love, or does it start before that? I don't know. You uh, five seconds in, you need to know that information. You want a little hint? Sure. Can't hurt. Uh, you could say instead of a superhero is wrongfully accused, a superhero chooses to be wrongfully accused of horrible things. So he pulls an unsuspecting woman into his crazy life. I love all of you. Is it recent? Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, what? The Dark Night and Day. The Dark Night and Day! I just watched Night and Day the other day, actually. Yeah. I want to see it again, see if it holds up. Like, yeah. Spoiler. <laughs> this one is a, a weird premise. Oh boy. Of, because of how specific it is to us. I would think that the guys who made this movie with this idea really wouldn't make it just for one person, but evidently it is. Uh, Dan's favorite movie haunts his dreams after it is burned alive while playing a side-scrolling beat-em-up on the Genesis. And it's three? Yeah, isn't that weird that it would be so specific to us? Yeah, I wish it was Alex's favorite movie so I knew what Dan's favorite movie was. You do, I also have a lot of favorite movies. I know. Uh, so read Wait, it again. say it again? Dan's favorite movie haunts his dreams after it's burned alive while playing a side-scrolling beat-em-up on the Genesis. Are they all, is it movie, video game, video game? No. Okay, movie, TV show, video game? No. Movie, movie, video game. Yes. Invading your dreams and being burned alive, is that one movie? Or it is? Boy. Really? Mike just gave me wow. the duh sign. <laughs> Say that again and listen to what you're saying. Invading yeah. your, your dreams, dreams and being, being burned, burned alive. alive. Oh, okay, I think I got it. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense when you say it. Uh, not to not to this fool. <laughs> yeah, but I, now now the, your favorite movie has changed. I okay, no. I know what the first one is. I have no idea. You know what the first one is? Yeah. What's the first one? You give me that and I'll write that line every point. It's weird that you're not Wait, so getting what? there. I've only said it, there's only a few movies, there's like three movies that I've referenced in the show as being my favorite movies of all time. What are those? And one of them perplexes you and confounds you, and that's the only one. Perplexes me and confounds me? That's not me. even the best way of just saying that, but don't say it anymore, please. Oh wait, I think I know. It's not that. the best way of saying that. What the hell is goddamn Fucking insane. Say it out loud, seriously. Invading your dreams and burning alive. Invading your dreams. There's a thousand burning. people out there <laughs> yeah. in internet land who are screaming at their monitors. Well, now why are you trying to help him get the it's second not, one? It's not, okay. I just think it's ridiculous. It's that he not can't Inception. It. Well, forget that noise. Inception. What's the first movie? What's the first movie? What? Well, that's <laughs> what where you invade your dreams, is. which is a very rare the premise. Only, the it only is, thing I have is, is it's rare. Dan's favorite. Hey, Nightmare on Elm Street. Huh, that oh. sounds good. Well, I know the last two. I know Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, how do you not know the first one? Your favorite movie that ends with night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I thought you were the stick, big stickler. Nightmare, like Nightmare on Elm Street's of Rage. Yeah, that's yeah. right so far. But well, you were the big stickler on the, on the full title. Okay, that ends with the. No, no. it's not the. Or uh. Ah, there we go. We got it. We got there. Oh. Wow, weird. I just uh, wouldn't I would have connected never, that. Uh, yeah. Magnolia, Nightmare on Elm Streets of Rage. Yeah. Magnolia, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Streets of Rage. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yay! 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 <laughs> A mentally ill young woman finds her love in an eccentric man who models himself after Buster Keaton. But will she keep the baby? What? A men. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what is going on? Hold on. Benny and Juno? Yes. Hilarious. What? <laughs> Hilarious. It took me, because I was like, what? And then I realized, oh, all of that is Benny and Jim. Yeah. And then I was then like, which end. I've never seen. Yeah. It's yeah. good. No, I, I saw it like in the theater it, way back in the day, but. I saw it like, on a bus ride, and I was like, this what? Is, yeah. Never seen it. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Ready. When a man wakes up in a world overrun by zombies, the only thing left to do is make sure an innocent man doesn't get put to death. The walking dead man walking. The walking dead man walking. <laughs> the walking dead man walking. <laughs> the walking dead man walking. <laughs> <laughs> it I feel like it writes itself. Yeah, yeah. It was good. It was good. It does write itself. 
So I slaughtered, right? right? Yeah. 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 Let's see that. That was on the board right there at the end. Yeah. Whoop, slipped it in. Whoop, whoop. Point. Walking dead man. Not walking. Skunk. <laughs> All right, everybody, be sure to stick around for the Stay in Red history. But first, sponsors, Dan Trachtenberg. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. I hate hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii console. The other day, I actually watched Kick-Ass streaming instantly Ooh. on my uh, iPad in bed. It was a joy to watch again. I just pictured that, and that um, sounds like you were having fun. Watch <laughs> as many movies as you want, anytime you want. Cancel anytime. Get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash TRS and sign up now. Uh, be sure to use that URL so that they know that we sent you. Uh, yeah, amazing. very important. Very important. All right, people. Also important is us ending the show. See ya. Coming up tomorrow, we check out the game from dust. Today is August 2nd, and on this day in Rad history, in 1858, the first mailboxes uh, in, in the US, this already happened in Belgium, are installed in New York and Boston. Interesting. Crazy. First mailboxes. And then on the next day, the first et cetera. <laughs> I mean, other things happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, the next day, the first person got uh, an ad that they didn't want. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, the first drunk yeah. Yeah. yeah, And it was made of pork and ham and whatever. Spam. Uh -oh. Ah! <laughs> wow. Boy, that was... Whoa. That was a I wandering... Was anyway, thank you, at Hialti, for sending that in.